Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working on the mobile chicken coop. Now I've got a chicken coop, and by chicken coop I mean chicken run, I'm new to this. I've got a mobile chicken run out right now, but it's really the permanent chicken run that I haven't really stapled down yet, and I'm using it as a mobile. I'm making a smaller mobile that'll be much easier to move around. We're going to pop outside and check that out in just a moment, but first I wanted to uh, take a look in here. Uh, what we've got in here are some plants that were growing in the greenhouse. Uh, these three buckets right here have pumpkin in them and this is a tomato plant right uh, right here in the smaller one. I know that pot is way too small. I'm experimenting with trying to have it in the house to see if I can get them pollinated outside and then bring tomatoes in the house. It's probably going to be a failure but I have so many uh, I had so many seed starts that uh, you know you have some to play around with. So remember how big those are and let's go outside and see what's going on in the garden. Uh, the greenhouse apparently is a really great place to grow plants because the ones that I grew in there started after a lot of the plants that I've got out here and uh, they're doing a lot better. Uh, well, I, actually, if you look down at the bottom here, this tomato plant that I'm putting you right next to right there, that was planted at the same time as the ones in the greenhouse. And you can see the greenhouse ones are doing much, much better. And, uh, and here's some that are they were planted a little bit sooner. Here's one of the bigger ones. Like th these right here, these are other tomato plants, and these were grown just about, I don't know, a week or two before the ones in the greenhouse. I uh, transplanted them from this little uh, pack with all the little, uh, you know, these guys here. These, these essentially haven't grown since I started them. There was a bunch of those guys, and I uh, put them, some in the garden, put some in there, and obviously the greenhouse ones are doing really great. Now you get more sun out here, uh, but inside the greenhouse it's warm, and I think it makes a huge difference. So I just wanted to mention that, that so far the greenhouses are working pretty well. This one gets morning sun, the other one gets afternoon sun, but even uh, given the fact that they don't get like full sun all the time, they, uh, they seem like doing really well. Also the soil I used in there was probably a little bit better too, so it's, uh, you've got a couple of variables in there, so it's a little bit hard to nail down exactly which one it is. But certainly the warmth I, th I think is, uh, is being beneficial for the tomatoes anyway. Uh, what I'm working on now is a mobile chicken coop, uh, and by chicken coop, of course, I again mean chicken run. I got one over there that's eight by eight. That is eventually going to be the kind of semi-permanent one that's going to come off the house over here. Once I do the permanent, permanent chicken coop that's going to be in that forest down there, it's going to be a whole other chicken run. It'll be much, much bigger, like maybe a quarter acre or something like that of chicken run. Uh, but what I want to do is make a smaller one. That's eight by eight. I want to do one that's six by eight. So it's much easier to move around uh, in some of these areas. As I'm sliding that one around, it's scraping by the trees and everything. Two feet smaller would make it a lot easier, a lot more manageable to move it around. That's what I'm working on right now. Uh, I'm using pressure treated boards for the bottom of it. Uh, you know, so it's, you know, it's not rotting out on the ground. This is a cut that I got from a huge uh, pressure treated six by six that I just picked up at the last temporary house that I was at. The previous people just kind of left it there. I love grabbing free stuff, so I, I took all the extra scrap lumber they left there, and one of the pieces was a six by six post. Now, I, it's generally a good idea to keep lumber in its biggest size, you know, because you know a six by six post is a lot more expensive than a bunch of two by fours, but uh, I just never use six by six stuff. Maybe someday I will, but I never do. So I'm using the six by six. I cut a slice off of it on the table saw right here, and I'm going to be using that to uh, you know, make some... Uh, little, I guess kind of two by three uh, uh, bottom pieces for it that'll be right up against the ground and the rest is non-pressure treated. Now if you look at this piece, you'll see there's a little bit of a bow to it. It kind of sticks that way where there's kind of a bump on this side. That's the way you sight a board. You look right down it and you can see how it's kind of bending to, uh, to your right, my left there. And what I'm going to be doing is uh, cutting it on the table saw. I put a board that I know is straight, one of these guys, I sighted down along it, made sure they were straight, put it down. And I, I scribed the line, and it's, it's nearly a centimeter uh, fatter on that end. So I'm going to take this, put it on the table saw, run it down, make it so I got one clean uh, straight side, and then I'll use that to cut some extra boards off of it. These video runs on this 360 camera, oftentimes, uh, you know, they, they cut off before I finish. So I'm just going to run this through the saw, and uh, if there's time afterwards, I can show you. And if not, you know, you can imagine a straight line. Here we go safety glasses, especially for this kind of thing because it throws a bunch of stuff in your face. <laughs> 